According to a 2019 life expectancy report, the whole world's average lifespan is 72.6 years. But for Japan, it is 84.6 years. With more than 29% of its population over the age of 65, the land of the rising sun is consistently recognized for its significant community of healthy elders. On December 28, 2012, Jiroamon Kimura became the eldest verified male in history. He lived for 116 years and 54 days before dying from natural causes. What's the Japanese secret to maintaining good health for so many years? In Japan, it is no secret. In fact, everyone learns it at a young age. In their mandatory educational program, Japanese children are taught to eat a balanced diet, keep good hygiene, and exercise daily. These habits formed early help establish a strong foundation for well-being. Here's a peek at some of the fundamental cornerstones of well-being in Japan. 1. A balanced diet It's nearly impossible to become a fast food addict in Japan. Massive chains such as McDonald's and KFC have footprints in this country, but they don't dominate the market. When you fancy a quick and nutritious meal, you have plenty of choices and are not forced to confront a cheeseburger or hot wings. Either at home or in restaurants, Japanese people favor an adequate, well-proportioned and nourishing meal. A Japanese diet is balanced physically, emotionally and spiritually. Food is regarded as a gift from the land, the mountain, or the river. To enjoy a meal is to pay tribute to the one who prepared it. A set of fresh ingredients and a rule of parahachi bonmi are two of the principles of a Japanese balanced diet. Fresh ingredients. Surrounded by oceans, Japan is composed of four main islands. The territorial diversity with four distinct seasons allows Japanese farmers to nurture a wide range of vegetables, fruits, and animal products. Even with only 3% of employed citizens working as farmers, the Japanese agricultural industry still supplies more than 126 million people every day. Thanks to their developed food industry, Japanese people can pick from various vigorous and vital ingredients coming from local farms to prepare their daily meals. Japan is famous for its food quality and superb ingredients. Having a wholesome set of ingredients to draw from means that Japanese people are already halfway to success when it comes to following a healthy diet. With great freshness comes great nutrients, and certain elements play a critical role in the nutritive value of Japanese meal. Nori Japanese seaweeds have a variety of forms, shapes, and origins. They contain almost no calories and lots of proteins. That's why they're used in all kinds of Japanese dishes. Nori is used as a side dish, seasoning, sushi wrapper, and the key ingredient in broth. But the most important benefit from nori in Japanese cuisine is its high quantity of umami, the pleasant, savory taste. Easy to cultivate, inexpensive, and diverse in quality and quantity, nori is the number one pick when it comes to enriching the flavor of broths and sauces. If you're familiar with Japanese cuisine, you are likely familiar with miso soup and ramen noodles. These two famous and symbolic dishes employ seaweeds in preparation of their broth. Fish Fish is an iconic ingredient in modern Japanese cuisine. The island nation is already well known for its sushi and sashimi. But that's not all Japan has to offer when it comes to fish. Without setting foot in Japan, you might think people eat sushi as their daily meal. But that's not true. Japanese cuisine features many other popular dishes made from fish. Some of the most favored types of fish include mackerel, tuna, salmon, and unagi, Japanese eel. Rich in omega-3 and omega-6, 
fish-based dishes are proven to be more nutrient-rich compared with their meat-based counterparts. Soy-based ingredients. Soy comes in various and diversified structures from tofu, miso, edamame, steamed and salted soybeans, to natto, Japanese fermented soybeans, soy sauce, and soy milk. Soybeans contain a lot of protein as well as good fat and carbohydrates. Soybeans are also easy to digest and offer a nutritious source of energy. A case study in Japan found that soybean-based foods can help reduce the risk of breast cancer. Hadahachi Bun Mi This Japanese philosophy of eating means 80% full, or more precisely, eating until you're 80% of your stomach. How can eating 20% less help us maintain good health? The reason centers around the nature of habit. Many people gain weight as a result of the habit of eating too much or too often. This not only puts one's digestive system under pressure, but it further increases cancer risk and speeds up the overall aging process. When big, or even worse, mega, portions of unhealthy foods are on offer, eating them can become a hard habit to break. When it comes to eating, the Japanese rule is simple. Eat until you're nearly full and split your meal into smaller plates. The former is related to your ability to control ourselves, but the latter has to do with how we can unconsciously alter our habit without suffering any psychological difficulties. These guidelines trick us into eating less and less. Our instinct might force us to finish whatever is left on our plate, no matter the size. By limiting the amounts of food we serve ourselves to begin with, we tend to stop before hitting maximum capacity. Another trick is to eat with chopsticks. It is somehow harder to indulge when we serve our mouths, only a small piece of food at a time. Okinawa is a far-off island in the south of Japan. Despite being a small territory with a population of 1.5 million, Okinawa's average life expectancy is the highest in Japan. Okinawan people follow rigorously the harachi banmi. Their diet also features a lot of whole grain foods and local vegetables. 2. Ikigai Ikigai is a Japanese concept of a reason for being. In short, it's the mental state of four elements. What you love, what the world needs, what you're good at, and what you can be paid for. There is no exact number of people who reach the sweet spot of Ikigai, or people who are nearly there. The essence of Ikigai is finding your life's purpose, your reason for existing, and your motivation to get out of bed every day. Scientists have conducted several studies to further understand why people with a sense of purpose tend to live a longer and healthier life. Rigorous research administered by the Health and Retirement Society on almost 7,000 U.S. adults attempted to find the association between life purpose and mortality. In the above 2006 analysis published in the Journal of the American Medical Association, a group of researchers found a positive correlation between having a purpose in life and a decreased mortality rate. People who know their direction, intention, and objective experience less anxiety, fatigue, and negative effects on the nervous system. The science at work here is still emerging. But generations of Japanese people have practiced and benefited from Ikigai. It is considered a key pillar to building and sustaining a happy and fulfilled life. Life starts as a blank page, and Ikigai tells us to fill in the core elements. What we're good at, what we love, what the world needs, and what we can be paid for. Of course, there is no deadline to submit the answers. Each person's answers will inevitably differ. And of course, there are no right answers. It's the journey that counts. We write our own lives with our adventures, joys, losses, and unique perspectives. The philosophy behind Ikigai claims that our life purposes await us at the end of that journey. 3. A Religion of Nature 
When you first visit Japan, you'll notice temples and pagodas nearly everywhere. This will give you an initial impression of Buddhism as dominant. But it turns out that significant religions, including Buddhism, Christianity, and Islam, play only a minor role in Japan. Japan people mainly practice Shinto, the Kami no Michi religion, or the religion of nature. It seems that with Shinto, Japanese people worship every small thing in nature. A rock, a river, and a tree branch all possess an inner spirit that Japanese people call Kami. According to Shintoism, each living thing has its individuality, but it is not separated from others. We are all part of a continuous collective life current, and we live our lives in pursuit of that flow. With Ikigai, Japanese people seek a sense of inner peace, and by respecting Mother Nature, they pray for an outer harmony. These two simultaneous flows help to bring about a balanced state of vitality. If we look to understand what exactly keeps Japanese people on a straight line to longevity, it's highly likely that these fundamentals contribute to shoring up the public health and vitality of one of the healthiest countries in the world.